It is almost as if you fell asleep in 2020 and woke up in 2024. My name's Erin, I'm from Hong Kong and I'm 26 years old. My recent years in Hong Kong have been a build-up of mixed emotions, sadness, powerlessness, and fatigue, mainly because the city where I was born and raised has been through so much in recent years. It is almost as if you fell asleep in 2020 and woke up in 2024. The city has become so unrecognizable, politically and socially. My true feelings about Hong Kong politics are often exchanged only with those I trust because I don't know where the red lines lie. Such a drastic political change has made Hong Kong become so strange to me. Many of my friends are quite pessimistic about Hong Kong's political situation. I personally experienced huge political fatigue. I used to be more interested in keeping up with Hong Kong politics, but now I just don't want to care anymore. On the social front, the pandemic fatigue was so real as well. In early 2022, my grandma and I both caught COVID. We did not step out of the house for over a month, and I felt quite detached from the rest of the world. Many Hong Kongers like myself are still reeling from the turmoil of the recent years. We were forced to adapt to the aftermath of the protests, the drastic change in the political system, and the government's COVID measures, one after another so quickly. I turned to outlets like reading fiction, binge-watching stand-up comedy shows on Netflix, and sedating myself with work. Things have mostly returned to normality now, but the painful memories of the past few years still haunt me every now and then. I've kind of moved past all that, but sometimes I still feel a bit traumatized. One word that best describes how I feel about life now, <laughs> ma mo. That's the Cantonese word for numb or apathetic. I don't really read so much about Hong Kong news anymore. I'm just trying to get by.